Today, for our meals in a jar, what we're going to need is freeze-dried white chicken, any kind of rice. Um, I'll just say this, if you're going to use uh, instant rice, you could even make this cold. I'm just using regular rice, both long grain rice that I use from a store. You can use any kind of rice you want. I'm using some mashed potato flakes. This thickens it up. I'm using non-fat dry milk. This is not instant dry milk. This is just regular dry milk. This is important to have for this dish. It makes it creamier. It's also important to have for the homemade cheese. Instant dry milk is another animal altogether. If you choose to and you want a little extra flavor, have some cheese powder. That's what I'm using, just some cheese powder. Then you can have freeze-dried vegetables. But this does cook for a while. If you want to use dehydrated, you can. But I like the freeze-dried mixed vegetables. Then you have, need some dehydrated onion, some chicken bouillon, black pepper, Mr. Garlic, and ground sage. If you don't like sage, don't put it in. But I find that sage has a very good flavor with chicken. Also, you're going to need a fourth of a measuring cup, a half, or no, I'm sorry, a third of a measuring cup, one cup, a tablespoon, and a teaspoon. Of course, you're going to need your funnel and your jar. I recommend using the wide mouth jars on these just because <coughs> this goes all the way to the top. We're going to be making both a creamy chicken um, cheesy soup and we're also going to be making the chicken casserole which is absolutely delicious and I think if, especially if you have kids you're going to like it and in a SHTF situation this is a nice change. For people who absolutely do not want to buy the freeze-dried meat, then there's another way around that. You'll put two cups of rice in here, and you'll use your one-pound container or pint jar of chicken. I like mixed chicken, and that's what I got, dark meat and light meat there. So that's one way of doing it. Then we have our complete and total package with the freeze-dried meat. Look who come to visit today, Donna the Bun Lady. Here we go. So what we'll start out with, we're going to have four tablespoons of chicken bouillon. And no, I don't measure exactly. I'm not Emeril. I'm Debbie. So I put four tablespoons of chicken bouillon in. Then I'll take a tea... Well, I'd say about half, half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of pepper. Throw that in. Then I like my garlic. So I'm going to put in a whole teaspoon of garlic, maybe a little bit more. And then I love the taste of sage in chicken. It really brings out the flavor of chicken. So I put in a teaspoon of that. Now what I'll do here is I'll put a third of a cup, and you can layer these however you want to. I'm putting in a third of a cup of dehydrated uh, onion. I'm put, going to put in, oh, let's say a half a cup of vegetables. That's good. You can even put in three-fourths of a cup of vegetables. This is your recipe, so be creative. I'll put in one cup of my chicken, throw that in there, and I'm going to put in a cup of rice, maybe a little bit more. Now when you do make this up, if you need more than this is going to give you, you can add more water and more rice. One thing that's very important is that you're going to use uh, powdered milk, which is powder, but not instant milk, okay? And we want to put in three-fourths of a cup of that. 
This powdered milk is important. Don't use the instant. Instant's good for instant milk, but you need um, this powdered milk that's not instant. And you're also going to need it for uh, the cheese I'm going to teach you to make this week. Cheese for powdered milk. Now here's where you're going to have to work it in. Make sure you have a wide mouth jar because those regular mouths, there's just no way you could fit all this in. I've gotten to the point now I use my Mylar for this recipe because I like to add this, I like to add that. And I think pretty much we have everything in here. I can add if I want to. I could still add a little bit. Maybe I'll put some cheese in. The cheese is just an added flavor and that's up to you. Again, work it in. You don't have to put chicken in here if you don't want to. That's okay too. If you don't put the chicken in, put a little more vegetables in. Put a little more rice in. However you want to work it. Now I just, I want to have potato flakes in there. You'll see what I mean about there's just no room in here by the time you're done. But you would not believe, look at this pot here. This is going to fill up to here when you're done. This is not a small pot. Look at my hands. It's going to fill up to here when you're done. So the potato flakes, very simple, is going to thicken this up for you. So while you're cooking it, if it's not as thick as you want, just add a little bit more mashed potato flakes. I learned that little trick from a, a wonderful lady who was teaching me how to cook Mexican food. And every time she would want something thickened up, she'd use mashed potato flakes. So I learned some little tricks off of her. If you choose to use the oxygen absorbers, you just put it on like that. And I'm just going to use this lid for right now. There's not going to be much room. Can you see? Maybe like a fourth of an inch is about all you got left. There's not going to be much room here. You put on your lid and you close it. This is a full meal in a jar. Now the difference, if you again, if you don't want meat, take the meat out. Add more vegetables. Add more rice. The neat thing I like about this recipe is I throw this into a pot. I put two full jars and one half a jar of water. Stir it up. You could cook it outside on the uh, over the fire. You could cook it in your solar cooker, and you could cook it in your oven. You could even cook it on top of the stove. So I like the oven method best. 350 for about half an hour. You're all done. Many people have been asking me about Mylar and how I would do this with uh, Mylar instead of the canning jars. So what I do is I take a gallon Mylar bag and I basically cut it in half. Then I take what I put in my jar. Well, of course, when you're doing this, just put it, all your ingredients in the uh, mylar. You don't even have to fart around with it by putting it in the jar. And I always run my finger across the edge on the inside. This is so simple, it's unbelievable. I take an oxygen absorber, and I'm probably doing overkill here. This is 300 cc, but I have a lot of them, so I might as well use them. I find an edge. I take the hottest setting possible on an iron, and you just go across it. Just go across the edge. That's it. That is sealed for all time. And that is good. Can stay sealed from anywhere from seven to ten years. And your food is good. Now I probably also recommend you push out as much of the oxygen as possible, but this will be airtight within 24 hours. What I put in here was my creamy chicken soup. 
No, I take it back. I put it in my creamy uh, vegetable soup with rice. And then my instructions is to put two and a half quarts of water. All right, and basically that's what you do. You fill this thing up two and a half times. Now, I don't know about you, but in an SHTF situation, I might not have measuring cups. So it's nice to just take, take a big quart jar, fill it up two and a half times. This is what I got. I'll put that in my storage. It's a long-term storage. You'll notice this is sealed up real good. So this is just as good as the jars. But boy, what a difference in weight. This is how it looks as it's cooking up. Now I'm cooking on top of a stove. I'm cooking on top of the stove to um, simulate a campfire. You know, you could put this in your, uh, if you use this dark kind of pan, you can put that in your solar oven. It's already starting to get thick. I know a lot of people ask me, well, Dev, I want to cook on top of the stove or on top of a fire. Well, that's where you got to get creative. Okay, I'm going to take my lid off and let's see what's going on. This is a casserole. Donna, how did you find this chicken casserole dish? Very good. I like it a lot. I think kids will really like it. Very, very good.